And now we've come to my favorite part of the store, our ancient and shipwrecked coin collection. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Here we have a different selection of also Spanish coins. These are uh, mostly cobs. We have a couple of busts in there. And the denominations here started at quarter real, which was also called a cortilla. Here's a very beautiful example of a Spanish cob. This particular one is a two escudo. The silver coins in Spanish were, were reals and the gold coins escudos. This coin was often referred to as a double because it was a two escudo. And that coin, a term changed and eventually became doubloon, hence today we call them gold doubloons. This coin was minted between 1615 and 1622. Here's a great example of a shipwreck coin. This coin was struck in 1665, but went to the bottom of the sea in 1681. When being chased by pirates, the captain had the ship sunk to keep the pirates from getting the booty. They then fled onto the island, and enraged as they were, the pirates chased them on and killed each and every one of the 350 men on the crew. The island is still known as the Isla de Mirada, or the Island of the Dead. Moving right along to our ancient coins, the coins in this tray are all very, very old. As a matter of fact, they're all BC coins, all over 2,000 years old. Another example of an ancient Greek coin is this coin portraying the head of Hercules. Uh, it was minted during the reign of Alexander the Great uh, between 336 and 323 BC. Some believe uh, that Alexander was actually trying to portray his own likeness into this coin. On the back side, you'd find a seated version of the god Zeus. This is a coin that was minted for the islands back before the, they were purchased by the United States. This was a Danish West Indies coin and it was minted in either 1905 or 1907. The three virgins shown on the coin are symbolic of the three main islands in the U.S. Virgin Islands. In this area of our coin collection, these also are all ancient coins, all BC coins. The necklace in the front has a is, depicts a stalk of barley on it, which was a very important fact of life to them. And then we also have several rings uh, dating back to as early as 600 BC, which is only 25 years after they started minting coins to be used as money in 625 BC. These ancient coins, set in cufflinks, are depicting bees. Back in the ancient days of the province of Sikyon, the bees were worshipped uh, as a, almost as a god because they knew how important they were to life. These coins were minted between 500 and 420 BC. This is one of our very special ancient coins. Uh, this coin was so unique we decided to have it uh, mounted in a special mounting. Uh, we've added a quarter of a carat of diamonds. It's the likeness of the god Janus, who is the god of new beginnings and guardian of the gates, and also the god Janus that looked into the future and into the past. Uh, on the back is another god, Jupiter, and Jupiter is shown in quadrangle on this particular piece, and it's a chariot with four quadrangles. The coin is minted circa 225 BC. The coins in this section of our case are Roman coins that are either Roman Imperial or Roman Republic. Uh, these coins will be somewhere between 1500 and 2000 years old. Most of these we have set in sterling silver and most of the coins are made up of bronze. These five bronze coins set in a 14 karat gold bracelet are some of the most popular ancient coins we have. There's actually a passage in the Bible that depicts this coin because it was in circulation during the time of Christ. It was minted between 103 and 73 BC and it, the coin denomination is a pruta, but it's commonly referred to as a widow's mite because of the passage in the Bible.